QuickBooks is a cloud-based accounting software built for small businesses and currently has over four and a half million customers. QuickBooks offers an easy to use interface that anyone can simply learn and navigate through. Basically, QuickBooks is a secure management system to help you better organize all your accounting activities in one intuitive place. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Now in this QuickBooks tutorial for small business, I'll be sharing with you how to use QuickBooks from the perspective of a small business owner and not an accountant so that you can better manage your financial and accounting activities. Okay, so before we launch into QuickBooks, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's jump over to my computer and walk through how to use the accounting software QuickBooks. <music> Okay, so to arrive at QuickBooks and to get started, what you need to do is head over to quickbooks.com and that's gonna take you to this page. You can also click the link below this video in our description and that's gonna take you here. Now, it's important to note that the QuickBooks webpage that you see in front of us might be slightly different depending on what country you're in. So what you wanna do once you've arrived at QuickBooks is navigate up to pricing. Then under pricing, this is where we can select a plan to get started with. Now each of these plans have a 30 day free trial to get you started and you can choose to upgrade or downgrade during that trial or at the end of your trial. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, QuickBooks is a cloud-based accounting software designed for small businesses. Now, if we navigate over to the simple start or the essentials plan, these are ideal for service-based businesses. However, if you sell products, then the plus plan is for you. If we scroll down, you can see that you can track inventory with the plus plan. And again, like I mentioned, depending on what country you're in, you might see slightly different details below each plan. However, today what we're gonna do is get started with the essentials plan. And we're gonna cover all the important features that you can leverage within the QuickBooks Essentials plan. So go ahead and select the best plan that works for you. Remember, you can downgrade or upgrade at any stage. Then simply navigate over to the free 30 day trial button under the plan that you want to get started with. What we're gonna do is quickly sign up and meet you within your QuickBooks dashboard. So go ahead, select your plan, fill in your details, and we'll meet you inside QuickBooks. And just like that, once you've completed the initial sign up of your QuickBooks account, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Now, before we go ahead and dive into all the awesome features that QuickBooks has to offer small businesses, what we wanna do is break down our QuickBooks dashboard. Now, the first thing you'll notice is your business overview or get things done. If I click get things done, this is where we have shortcuts to different activities within our QuickBooks account. Now, if we navigate back up to Business Overview, this is where you can see a basic snapshot of important financial activities happening within your QuickBooks account. Now, this information is private. So for example, let's say you stepped away from your computer and you had other people around your computer. You can simply navigate up to privacy in the top right hand corner and click hide the financial info on your dashboard. If I click here, you can see that that completely hides all this financial information from people looking at our screen. So this is an awesome feature to protect your privacy. Now, while we're on the right hand side of our QuickBooks account, what I wanna do is cover these elements up here. So first we have help. If I click on help, this allows us to search for specific answers that we're looking for to help us understand how to make the most of QuickBooks. Then over on the left hand side, we have assistant. If we click here, we can get in touch with a real person if we need help with anything. You will also find generated links based on the message that you send. Okay, so if we exit out of help, 
Then navigate over to this search icon and click here. This allows you to search for customers, suppliers, transactions, reports, or accounts within your QuickBooks account. Now, if we exit out of this next to search, we have this bell icon. These are your notifications. And then next to notifications, we have your settings which we're gonna dive into shortly. Now, if we navigate over to the left-hand side, over here, we can simply change our business name and we can add a logo. Now, if I click here, that's gonna take us to our settings, which we're gonna dive into shortly. Then, if we navigate over to the left-hand side, this is our navigation menu. This is where you can access different areas within your QuickBooks account. And we're gonna dive into each of these different areas shortly once we've completed our settings. Now, if we navigate up to the top and click New, this is where we can go ahead and simply create different elements within our QuickBooks account. For example, you can see that this section is broken up into customers, suppliers, employees, and other. Now, if I navigate over to suppliers, under suppliers, I can create a new expense, a new bill, I can pay a bill. If I navigate under customers, I can create a new invoice, or I can create an estimation for a new project that I'm about to start with a client. Okay, so now that we understand the dashboard, what we wanna do now is navigate over to settings. So if we exit out of this and navigate over to the right hand side and click on settings, that's gonna bring up profile, tools, lists, and your company. Now under your company, what we wanna do is navigate over to account and settings. And under company, what you wanna do is take the time to make sure that all this information is correct. Simply click on each section to edit that section. Then below company, we have billing and subscriptions. This is where you can upgrade or downgrade at any time to a different plan. You can also cancel your trial. Then below billing and subscriptions, we have sales. Under sales, this is where you can customize all your sales settings. For example, we can customize our sales form content. We could edit the shipping, discount, and deposit. You can also customize the way that your form looks. Then below sales, we have expenses. And if you want to manage your purchase orders, then you will need to upgrade to the plus plan. At the moment, we're using the essentials plan. Then below expenses, we have advanced. This is where you can change advanced settings like the currency, the language, you can modify your time tracking, and you can modify your accounting period up here if you like. Now, if we exit out of our account and settings and navigate back over to settings, we can also navigate over to manage users and this is where we can add and manage our different users. Now, the essentials plan that we selected at the beginning of this tutorial allows up to three users to join us on this account plus an accountant. And the version below essentials allows one user plus the accountant and then the version above the essentials plan which is what we're using now allows up to five users plus an accountant then under users we have other settings that you can play around with in regards to custom form fields chart of accounts and then below this we have quick books labs this is basically where we can play around with themes we can change this to a dark theme if we like rather than a light theme then under lists we have products and services we're going to talk more about this section later then we have reoccurring transactions you can manage those you can manage your attachments so for example if you have receipts that you've taken pictures of you can upload those as attachments and then we have custom fields under tools, we can import data into QuickBooks. We can also export data from QuickBooks. We can reconcile transactions. And then we have a useful feature called Smart Look. Basically, if I click here, you can send this number to your accountant who's connected to QuickBooks and they can see your screen. So what we're gonna do is dismiss this. Okay, so now that we've briefly covered the settings, what we want to do is navigate up to Dashboard, and below Dashboard, we want to click on Banking. And the first thing that you want to do once you've made sure that all your settings are correct is you want to navigate over to Banking and come down and connect an account. So for example, if I click Connect Account, 
That's going to simply allow you to connect your QuickBooks account with your bank account, and that's going to import your bank feeds. So for example, if I was with ASB, this bank here, I could click this bank and then connect my bank accounts. Maybe I've got three business bank accounts that I want to stream the transactions happening on my bank into my QuickBooks account so I can record all those transactions. And this is where you want to do that. So locate your bank by simply navigating up here and typing in your bank name, locate your bank and follow the step-by-step -step process of connecting your bank with QuickBooks. What we're gonna do is navigate up here and exit out of banking. And you can also navigate down here and upload transactions from previous years, from different software that you've used, or from spreadsheets, if you've been operating a business for some time. However, you do not need to do this if you're just getting started in business, and all you need to do is connect your accounts. However, your accountant can help you with this if you've been in business for some time and you have all your transactions on spreadsheets or on other programs, they can help you upload those previous transactions to record everything in one place within your QuickBooks account. Then if we navigate up to sales, this is where you can go ahead and add a product or service that you can save within QuickBooks. So next time that you create an invoice or receipt, you can simply add those products or services into that invoice or receipt. Then we can also navigate over to customers. This is where you can manage, add and remove your customers. We can also navigate over to all sales and this is where you can manage all your sales and locate all your invoices. Now to create an invoice, simply come down here and click create an invoice or simply navigate up to new under QuickBooks on the left hand side and come down and click invoice and this is where you can create your invoices you can select a customer you can add the customer email in here add the billing address terms invoice date due date the invoice number and then the description about the product or service down here you also have additional information that you can add on the left hand side. We can come down and we can print or preview. We can turn this into a reoccurring invoice or we can customize this particular invoice. Then when you're ready to save and send, simply come down and click save and send. And that's going to send this invoice to the email address that you added up the top. Now if we come down, we can also click this arrow and we can simply save and close save and share link or save and share via whatsapp so as you can see it's very straightforward to create and send invoices now if we navigate up here and exit then navigate over to cash flow below sales this is where you can see your cash flow you can see inflow so money coming in and outflow money going out and this cash flow snapshot is based on the business transactions in your bank account. Remember what you want to do is link your business bank account with your QuickBooks account and that way you're streaming those transactions directly into QuickBooks to record. Then below cash flow we have expenses. If we click on expenses and once you connect your bank account, this is where you can see all your money going out, your expenses. You can also select suppliers, and this is where you can manage all your suppliers. Then if we navigate under expenses, we have employees. And again, it's super straightforward. This is where you can add and manage your employees. Then below employees, we have reports. If we click on reports, this is where you can see all your financial statements and reports. And this is more of an area for your accountant. However, if you need to find a particular report or financial statement, all you need to do is navigate up to find report and then type in the name of that report. You can also come down and simply locate that report and select the report to view that particular report. You can also star each of these reports to add those reports under your favorites. You can see we have four favorites down here. You can add others if you like. Then under financial reports, we have taxes. And this is basically where you can set up smarter tax filing. Again, your accountant can help you with this. Then below taxes, we have accounting. If we click accounting, this is where you can see your chart of accounts 
or we can navigate over to reconcile and this is basically where you can reconcile your bank transactions so for example every time you purchase every time you receive a sale all the different transactions that are happening in your bank account you can see those transactions here and then you can reconcile which basically means putting those transactions and adding them to the right category you can do that entire reconciliation process over here now if you want to learn more about the reconciliation process simply navigate over to see how it works and watch this video over here then under accounting we have apps if I click on apps and this is where you can integrate popular apps that you use on a day-to-day -day basis in your business for example you can connect your CRM customer relationship management software you can connect a project management tool you can connect your website for example Shopify WooCommerce if you use WooCommerce there's many app integrations that you can connect with your QuickBooks account to essentially streamline all your different processes however that is a basic overview of how QuickBooks works so what we'll do is navigate back to our dashboard and that is the end of this tutorial to help you get started with QuickBooks so you understand how to navigate and and really make the most of the different elements that QuickBooks provides however like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial this is an overview from the perspective of a small business owner myself it is recommended that you do get in touch with your accountant before you dive into a software like QuickBooks however QuickBooks is an ideal cloud-based accounting solution for small businesses that are on a budget however they do need a tool like this to streamline all their different financial and accounting activities and there we have it guys that is it for this introduction tutorial on how to get started with QuickBooks now if you have any questions about QuickBooks make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you smash that like button and you subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you next time take care guys